Hey, fish heads, good morning. This one's going to be a real, real quick update. I know I've been bombarding my YouTube channel with a bunch of posts lately and video uploads, but that's because I have just finished. I had like eight or nine huge orders in the last 60 days that came down the pipe that I, some of them I was expecting, some of them I wasn't, and some of them just kept growing. So thank you for your patience. If you have an open order with me and you ever have any questions on what the status is, I'm always available. I'm completely transparent. There's a bunch of different places that you guys can find me. So if you're on Facebook, you can find me at my personal page, Jennifer Cravassi or Jen Cravassi, I think it is these days. I have a, a personality page and a personal page. I also have Jekyll Bait Company. You can leave me messages. You can do all sorts of things. Um, my phone number, my business phone number is on the website, www.jekyllbaits.com, and you can also drop me a line there. So that said, thanks for your patience. All existing orders are being sprayed as we speak right now. So the next 14 days, you guys are, are definitely getting them. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We just had some monster orders come down the pipe. These. I did a Facebook tutorial. Of, hey, you know what? If you're not on this page, if, you're, uh, if you are on Facebook and you're looking for a great place to either learn how to airbrush or you know kind of consort with the other airbrush artists that are on the page there's 5,000 plus members now it is a rapidly growing um, area of interest and hobbying and we would love to see you guys there so this one I just did a tutorial on how I sprayed it I don't put everything that I spray in a spray session on YouTube because that would that's I, there's no way I could there's absolutely no way I could it's thousands of thousands but I do every once in a while like to throw on some pictures and step-by-step -step instructions on the pages. So this one is on my personal page yesterday, and it's also on Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting that's started by uh, Michael Ornstein and Garcia Rosa. So go check that page out if you guys are on uh, Facebook. If you're not on Facebook and you want to check out one of my mentors, Michael Ornstein, and also Garcia Rosa, who's an amazing artist and foiler in his own right, go find them. Um, Michael Ornstein runs Lure Me In Custom Paint and Crankbaits here on YouTube, so just type in Lure Me In and that'll get you right to him. Garcia Rosa, I believe, is under his name, but I'm going to double check. I'll leave both of their links in the description below for you guys as well, um, just to spread the community love and goodwill and cheer. I want to talk about this one just for a second because this was fun. This didn't look anything like this when I started. It, I try to purchase, if I'm doing repaints and custom sprays, this is a G-Rat Sneaky Pete. Price point somewhere around $35, $38, and then uh, lots of custom stuff on top of that. So this is just super cool. I did a red horse minnow, which is different than a red horse sucker, uh, but they are similar in their accents as far as their red fins so this is the finished product with the clear coat dried um, a lot of you that are just getting into jointed baits and swim baits you might be asking well how do you clear coat something like this this is a two-part process so you have to do it you can either do it two days in a row or you can do it 12 hours because the one side will be dry enough to kind of handle to to either dip the other side which i dipped one side at a time on this i did not brush on but i did accent and use a brush through these little edges because what will happen is if you dip something in clear coat and it has this little spot right here what's going to happen is that's not going to get in clear coat or if you put it down all the way to that point then you're going to screw up your joints and you don't want to do that so what i do when i'm doing jointed if i if i'm not doing a bunch of them because if i have something that's i need to get done in a hurry i'll dip one side at a time if i can get away with it i'll put just a little bit so i'll, I'll take a flat brush and this is actually a pretty good size for this because it's not going to go over so you can kind of brush on to the edges and then you can also brush on this little area right here so i'll brush that and i'll even come down a little bit so that when i do dip it i don't have to worry about getting it all the way up to that line i'll i'll hand paint and hand brush on to that and then uh, and i well i don't want to jinx myself but i've never had a problem with getting gunk in the middle of that just it's, it hasn't happened because i'm careful with how i do that 
you will say, well, what about these? If you dip it one time and you take a little toothpick once you've dipped it and kind of move it around there, then you're not going to have that build up, clog up any of your moving parts here because on most of these swim baits, they do move and they're meant to move um, so that the hook set is going to be from any direction. So that is the case with this. You just, you just want to make sure once it's dry that you don't have any impediment or issues. So that's my little tutorial on that. Um, so hung this way and no, I did not coat it with the tail on, but I did reinsert the tail while my clear coat was wet on this side and I scraped excess from the inside of this because the way this is set up is that you slide it in from one side and then it stays put here. So it's not a complete slide through. So it mounts in. So once I had finished this side, I let it drip and cleaned it and then I inserted this while the clear coat was still tacky because if you let it get to the point where it dries it kind of has a tendency to expand a little bit and that way you have uh, less likely of a chance of getting this in correctly on the first shot so just just a little little tip for dipping and clearing and brushing and this turned out really well I'm really happy with how that turned out this is an Ima. This is the Glide Fluke. This is a much lighter bait. This is about um, 0.8, so just over three quarters of an ounce. And it's about five millimeters longer than your Duo 120, so this is a 125 millimeter bait. And it's got just some standard hooks on it. I just re replaced the factory hooks and I did this in a dressed trout, rainbow trout. Did a little detailing here. And obviously both of these are mesh, mesh wrapped. I also did uh, some random splatter in black and detail black, but I did that with the mesh still on. So that way, because this, when I purchased this bait, it's a chrome, just a clean chrome bait. There's nothing except for chrome on it. I took out the eye my eyes. Uh, I think I still have the eye my eyes somewhere on this table. Yep, right here. So that's what the eye my eyes look like. But I wanted, since we had a trout, I wanted more natural eyes. So this is the real eyes that you can get at Lure Parts Online. And then last but certainly not least, actually, you know what? I don't know. I'd spent a little bit of time talking about this in the last one, but this is that Atlas. Um, I spent about six minutes talking about the blank itself, but one thing that I really, really like about this is that instead of just having a screw on and one belly hook, uh, it's kind of got like the stinger. It's got a worm hook on the back of it, and it's, this is deadly. This is a fish catcher for sure, so in a somewhat of an albino pattern for a mouse. This is the popper we did yesterday on the spray session. And this is also the giveaway piece. So this is what it looks like complete and done and pretty with the clear coat on. And I am excited for one of you guys to be winning this. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's the last video I did right before this one. And I went step by step on how to do it, how to clear it, because the biggest question next to, can you please do the money crawl pattern? was how do you keep this clear coat from pooling up in the mouth of these non-gill through poppers. So I went through step by step on that, showed you guys how to do it. It's, uh, it's not one of my longer spray session videos. I would say that uh, we got a lot of stuff done in a fairly short period of time. So go check it out. Leave me a comment on that. And if you're subscribed to the channel, you have a shot at winning this popper. Um, it's just as an appreciation. I don't do a lot of giveaways on my channel only because I like to focus on teaching and it's not about, you know, grabbing as many people as I can to try and ramp up my subscription um, count or my views or anything. I really sincerely just love to teach you guys. Um, I do have a Patreon if you guys are interested in helping me replenish the products that I use to teach you guys with, like paints and airbrush maintenance and alligator clips and the whole gambit that goes with spraying. So um, you're welcome to check that out. Those are always linked below, but I hardly ever ask for any of that either. Um, but it sure does help 
and it uh, it keeps me in my ability to help you guys learn and hopefully I can teach you guys stuff so that's what's going on with today 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 happy Saturday today is filmed on Saturday it's going to be uploaded here momentarily because I like to do all my updates fairly early in the day so have a great rest of your day whenever it is that you view the video go check out the other popper video if you want to be entered to win and um, I don't really choose anybody, so there's no preference. Um, nobody has any greater odds that, of getting it than anybody else. But I take the total number of subscribed comment and put it in a randomizer. And one of you guys is definitely going to get this cool little money crawl popper. So you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon, and I will see you on the water. I think I'm sneaking out Monday. It's not 100% certain, but I'll lose my mind if I don't go fishing soon. So I'm going to try and spray today and tomorrow. You're probably going to see one of my acrylic pour videos come in somewhere between there. And then Monday, it's going to be a little bit cooler. I don't care if I get rained on. Y'all, I'm going fishing. See ya.